Uh, we're at Oak Ridge Country Club here in Hopkins, Minnesota. We're a 99-year-old golf course right now. We turn 100 next year. I uh, recently just did a full regrassing of greens and fairways and a bunker renovation last year. So we're kind of just getting started back for the new 100 years. Original architect was Willie Clark back in uh, 1921. We just did a redesign with uh, Dave Axlin, Rodney Cole, and da Dan Proctor. We're a fairly light club overall. We usually do about 18,000 rounds a year. This year, a little bit less with uh, not opening till July 1, but we're still beating records right now. Regressing came in because last spring we came out of winter and uh, we lost everything. Greens were completely dead. Uh, we, we went in and seated them and got a nice stand, but then we just decided this was the year to do it, so we killed everything and started over. Tee to Green, we chose Tee to Green just because we like the color, we like the product. Uh, a lot of other guys around do a different kind of variety. We felt comfortable with Tee to Green and we couldn't be happier right now. Well, we used the seed, the Pure Select seed right away because it did so well in cold temperatures and we got a great germination out of it so we felt comfortable using it going widespread on this golf course. The winter time is our, is our biggest challenge right now. We, we get really low temperatures but lately we've been getting freezing rain in the middle of December and we needed a grass that could survive underneath ice if we if we got ice through the winter, and this is this is going to be pretty good for us. Uh, greens right now we're sitting at about 115. I don't think we'll go much lower than that. These greens are pretty sloped severely from back to front, so if we get them too much lower, they're going to be too fast and unplayable. Fairways we're sitting at 375. Nothing special there, but we found with this new grass that we don't need to necessarily mow every day. We can take a day off and roll and still maintain speeds. It was a great decision to choose Tita Green, especially given this year with immature plant going into a hot, dry summer. The grass has performed perfectly, very little watering, and just couldn't be happier right now.